Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the um, hot word sensitivity of your Nest Home or Google Home devices. So say you have two um, Nest Home speakers uh, kind of close to each other or maybe you have an open floor plan and um, one of them keeps responding even though you want the other one to respond um, when you say the hot word and things like that. You can go ahead and adjust the sensitivity for each one of those speakers. Um, that way you can kind of get them to where you want them. So hopefully when you say the hot word to activate it, it goes ahead and lights up the correct speaker um, and not another one. So we're gonna jump into the Google Home app here. Once here, go to the user settings, tap on assistant settings, scroll down till you see the hot word here, sensitivity. Go ahead and tap on that. You will see all of your speakers pop up here that you have linked to this account. And you can see they're both set to the default. But if I tap on the office speaker, I can go ahead and adjust that hot word sensitivity. So if I want it to be more sensitive, um, I can go ahead and adjust it to spots here. So we'll make it the most sensitive we want. Um, and then we'll go back and then say the entryway is the one that keeps answering instead of the office speaker. I can go ahead and lower it by one or by two. Um, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and go in and it's gonna take some trial and error to adjust these to where you want them and what works for you. Um, maybe you don't need to adjust the entryway at all and just up you know, the sensitivity of the other one by one. You can go ahead and do that. And whenever you change it, you'll see the message at the bottom pop up and say all your um, changes have been saved. So there's no save button or anything you have to hit. So again, trial and error, um, you're gonna have to test it and figure out what works best um, for you and your home environment. But that's how you go and adjust the hot word sensitivity on a Nest Home or Google Home device. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get notified about other helpful tech videos I post to the channel. Thanks for watching.